Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today we're going to rank MBTI personalities based on their self-discipline. Make sure to watch each one and find out which personalities are the most disciplined. Some personality types are very self-disciplined and some just act in the moment. Each individual has their own level of self-discipline, however. Based on general tendencies, we've ranked each one of 16 personality types in one of these categories. Here's the MBTI personality ranking based on their self-discipline. Number 1. ISTJ Self-discipline is something that ISTJs appreciate highly and have a lot of it themselves. For the ISTJ, it's critical to keep their sense of awareness and self-control. They want to make sure they have plenty of willpower going forward, especially for the things they value most. ISTJs are dedicated, diligent individuals who value discipline and not letting their feelings get in the way of their values and ambitions. Number 2. ISFJ ISFJs do value self-discipline and think it's necessary to keep their life under control. They don't think people should just act on their impulses because that could lead to trouble. ISFJs want to make everyone around them happy and aim to foster harmony in their surroundings. This means that ISFJs need to exercise a lot of self-discipline to make sure that they complete tasks for their loved ones. ISFJs undoubtedly appreciate discipline and they can get angry with others who lack restraint. Number 3. ESTJ ESTJs place a high emphasis on self-discipline and think that it's crucial to retain self-discipline. ESTJs are strong-willed individuals who put up a lot of effort to achieve their objectives. The ESTJ won't let anything stand in their way once they set their mind to anything. They won't allow their feelings to rule them and prioritize keeping their attention on the task at hand. People who lack discipline can irritate ESTJs because they think they are careless. Hey, if you're enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Number 4. ESFJ Self-discipline is a quality that ESFJs do have in plenty, and it aids them in achieving their personal objectives. ESFJs will go above and beyond for their loved ones, which does involve self-control, in order to make them happy. They must maintain discipline in their behavior if they are to effectively meet the demands of others. ESFJs don't like to take too many chances or risks because they want to keep their attention on creating a future for the people they care about. Number 5. INFJ INFJs put a lot of effort into maintaining a sense of internal control because they firmly believe that self-discipline is crucial. They dislike being careless or irresponsible because they don't want to be someone who others can't rely on. INFJs believe in taking responsibility for their own acts and reject placing blame on others. They want to be perceived as having self-discipline, which is something that usually comes effortlessly to them. INFJs analyze things before acting and don't just leap into them without doing their research and using their gut instinct. Number 4. INFP Having a strong sense of self-discipline is something INFPs admire, but only to a certain point. When it comes to their values and principles, INFPs are very disciplined and put a lot of effort into making sure they act morally. INFPs can be too strict on themselves, which can be a little taxing for INFPs. They think it's vital to occasionally experience being a little spontaneous and allow themselves to take some risks. Overly self-disciplined people, in INFP's opinion, are too stiff and don't genuinely live their lives as they should. Number 7. ENFJ Given their attention to meeting the needs of others, ENFJs do think self-discipline is crucial. The ENFJ cannot understand that acting carelessly or irresponsibly might actually cause harm to those around them. People with a strong sense of discipline and the ability to pursue their objectives without losing themselves are highly valued. Since they strive so hard to make sure everyone is taken care of, ENFJs place a great deal of importance on having this sense of inner power. Number 8. ENFP ENFPs can be rather impulsive and spontaneous in some circumstances. When it comes to keeping strong and doing what they believe is right, they have strong values and believe in self-discipline. When they're in a serious relationship, ENFPs can definitely control themselves and are supportive of their loved ones. In terms of other areas of their lives, ENFPs believe in occasionally acting on their impulses rather than trying to live each moment with restraint and self-control. Number 9. ISTP Self-discipline is something that ISTPs value to some level, particularly when it comes to emotional control. They don't think it's acceptable to let their emotions get in the way of their ambitions and aspirations in life. They firmly believe in upholding discipline in this way because they don't want to develop into someone who crumbles under the weight of their emotions. 
ISTPs don't want to become extremely regimented in their daily lives because this will make them feel restrained. Number 10. ISFP ISFPs desire to embrace the present moment and want to live life to the fullest. They don't place a lot of emphasis on self-discipline, particularly when it comes to acting on their feelings. ISFPs let their hearts be their guide, and don't want them to feel like they're acting improperly as a result. The ISFP finds boredom in excessive self-discipline, which prevents them from fulfilling their lives as they were really intended. Number 11. ESTP Self-discipline might eventually become monotonous and even exhausting for ESTPs. They hold that savoring each moment and leading passionate lives are crucial. The ESTP prefers to take chances and enjoy life rather than continually getting bogged down by rules and obligations. When they're enthused about something, they tend to be fairly impulsive and live in the now. Number 12. ESFP Self-discipline can in many ways prevent ESFPs from living in the moment and experiencing new things, which is why they enjoy doing so. An excessive amount of discipline can greatly limit an ESFP's lifestyle and make them feel somewhat constrained. They want to experience every moment of their lives to the utmost and without feeling restricted. For ESFPs, having too much discipline just makes them feel absolutely stuck and sad. Number 13. INTJ Self-discipline is a quality that INTJs firmly believe everyone should strive to develop. When it comes to significant situations, they dislike being around people who are unable to manage their emotions or their own behavior. INTJs have strong wills and don't let emotions of passing fancies dictate their course of action. They value those who are highly disciplined, capable of overcoming obstacles, and effective problem solvers. Number 14. INTP Although INTPs firmly adhere to their internal morals, they're always open to fresh perspectives. Given that they think it's crucial to maintain an open mind, they may not place as much weight on self-discipline as other kinds. INTPs are constantly looking for new things to grasp and find, since they don't like to feel locked in one belief. The INTP may feel stuck and a little too stagnant if they exercise too much self-control. Number 15. ENTJ ENTJs can get annoyed with people who lack self-discipline since they firmly believe that it's an important attribute. To achieve their objectives, ENTJs think that they must put in a lot of effort and stay focused. The ENTJ would not be as effective and capable of accomplishing things as they are if they lacked strong discipline. They undoubtedly possess strong morals and a strong will, which enable them to pursue their goals. It is crucial for ENTJs to have this self-discipline and to make sure their emotions don't come out in the way of their goals. Number 16. ENTP ENTPs are more interested in discovery than self-discipline. It's more crucial for ENTPs to trust their instincts and avoid taking unnecessary risks. In order to actually learn more about the world around them and themselves, they want to be able to thoroughly investigate various options. Self-discipline can make ENTPs feel constrained and deprived of their freedom to make their own decisions. They desire to follow their whims and make decisions on the spur of the moment. These videos will be really helpful for you.